All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, I I am thoroughly thoroughly excited to to play this. Uh, if you guys don't know what this says on the screen, it's called Fez. Uh, it's a game that came out in 2012. Um, I got it on pretty close to launch back in my uh, my freaking barely in high school years playing on the 360 and I I don't think I ever got around to beating this game because stupid kid brain couldn't figure it out but uh this got dropped on the Nintendo eShop as of yesterday don't worry about that other save file I was trying to test out some stuff on the switch do it handheld but um this is gonna be the same thing with Legend of Zelda where I can't hear anything But, this game is freaking awesome. I absolutely love this game, and I'm so glad I get to have a chance to go back through and play it again. Um, I don't think it's been ported to anything else since the 360. Like, I could be wrong in saying that, but, like... I don't think it genuinely has. Uh, dear Gomez, please meet me at the top of the village. I have something very important to tell you. Today's special day. Geezer. Okay. Um. No, it's a very, like... I could run around all day. In fact, I will. Um. It's obviously very retro-inspired. Uh, with the way that the color palette and stuff is. Minus square, not cube, that's for sure. Because there's no such thing. Well, fun fact. Alright, I'm just gonna go with that. Um, but this is a game all about perspective. Like, in the utmost sense, it's all about perspective. Hey, kitty cat. And, um,. If you haven't, if you don't play puzzle games, look, I can understand why people don't play puzzle games. They're puzzle games. You know, um, it's kind of a specific thing. Okay, never mind. Uh, we'll talk about it later. Um, ha, there you are. Today is a special day. Adventure is ready. It's Gomez time. Anytime now. Just you wait. There you go. This game also gets extremely weird from what at times from what I remember. And it's funny seeing very clean colors over an 8-bit background. Ah. Cube. It's got a name, I just don't remember. Um, I know it. <laughs> oh man. So, also, I will apologize if the audio is a little bit messed up in this one. Um, I'm gonna have to go back through and see what it sounds like after that record this first one. Dropping everything. Um, okay. Alright, well. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. The whole name of this game. Fez. I was curious, like, back in the day when I first started playing this, like, why is this called Fez? I was like, it's literally called Fez because it's the hat.
Oh, yeah, I, I completely forgot about this part. It, like, crashes the... <laughs> crashes the game. The Trixel engine. And, um, I might put a warning for flashing colors and stuff at the beginning of this episode. <laughs> so there's some people that are sensitive to that stuff, and there's a lot of that in this. At least in the beginning of this. Boom! And there is the whole point to this whole game. Is the flipping of the runes. See, and everything just changes with perspective. It's freaking crazy. That's why I love this game. It's so, like... I feel like it came out at a freaking good time before like other games with puzzles and stuff came out. Um, Go man, something went wrong. I need your help. I said to guide you, I am Dot. <laughs> the hexahedron has been fragmented, shattered and scattered over the world. You must restore it. Without it, everything will collapse. You've received the gift. It's a great secret. It's been... That's a terrible voice to for that. Um... I'm trying to think of a voice for this. Uh, let's see. There is a world beyond your village, and dimensions the ones you can occupy. I don't know, we'll come up with, we'll probably freaking change this when we get this. This door leads to the outside world, but now it is so short. The marking on it indicates that it won't open until you've collected at least one key. There are many such doors in this world, each requiring more keys than the last. To reach the end of this journey, you will need to find all 32 keys. But first, you must leave this place. There are eight cube bits in this village, like the one right there. Together, they form a four cube, which you can use to unseal the door. Find them. <laughs> Shiny gold cubes, you must find them, or else the door collapses with you in it. Oh, no pressure, and remember. Uh, okay, use the bumper still. Perspective. You get the bumpers or the triggers. I saw a devil square. Where did you go? Did you, did you bring me back something? Where did I go? I didn't go anywhere. Okay, so that's how I get down there, I believe. But. So I'm gonna go, okay, so let's go back up. We're gonna go into all the houses, because this game, <laughs> nice hat. This game is absolutely riddled with secrets, from what I remember. Like, there's so many, like, hidden details and stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh. Treasure chest, uh, place in front of it and press Y. Got me a freaking key, let's go. He's doing with locked doors like use once. Alright. So see it's like two separate rooms, but then you just flip it over and ta-da! I'm pretty sure there's an owl like that a little bit later on. And that's kind of a weird thing with all those dudes wearing fezzes. Because you don't see anybody else wearing hats really around here. I don't know, there's so many like I feel like there's so many nuances with this game that I never, like, realized when I was a kid. Oh, there's another one. Yaga! Alright. Let's go in here. I literally... And funny thing for me is I like searching everywhere for stuff. So I think something shows up in this room later. I mean, it has to, you know? Mind you, I haven't played, I literally haven't played this game in at least, since at least 2013, and it's 2021. I may have played it at, like, sometime around that. Oh, sweet. Is that a map? Found a treasure map. A uh, map of treasure where, I don't know, figure yourself out. So. How do I find the... Hmm. 
See, so there's like, there's random diagrams for like certain areas that are very obscure, but then it's just like, hey, this is where this is at, and you're like, well, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, so did all that. I'm gonna go over here. There's a way to... Hmm. He's flat. Wait a second. That guy's flat. Okay, so once I get to the top, I think I can get on top of the tree. Because I think I remember seeing something where there was like a block on the tree. And that's the thing too, some of this stuff is freaking invisible. It's been so long time. It's your turn now. I'm tired. Plus there's the eye thing. Yeah, there's a bunch of images of the tree. with that. I don't think I can. Yeah, so he's wearing a fez too, so it seems like people that have the fez are like destined to be like certain kind of people. I wish the motion controls were in this, it'd be kind of funny. Was that a cube? But that's not impossible. Well, Joke's on you, buddy boy. It was possible. Okay, uh, let's search in here. I promise I'm not gonna make these as long as the Legend of Zelda ones. Ta-da! Can it be a new direction? Whoa. And I just love the, the minimalist drawings for all this stuff. I know, I know I like to talk about the praises of this game a lot, but I don't... This thing, I absolutely loved this game when I was a kid. Oh. <laughs> That's right. Gimme. Okay. Oh, so it was X. X opens that up. Yeah, I have no idea what that's for. So that's the total amount of shards and stuff I've got. Oh, wait, I have to... Ah, yeah, that's right. I have to orientate myself to open it. Sweet. Give me a cube. Ah, it's on cube. Okay. Well, I don't think there's anything else to open. Here. If I didn't freaking kill myself. Gosh dang it. Okay. Um... We need four more. I can't remember which rooms I went to, which I haven't. Oh, no, I haven't. Okay, so I need one more. I don't know where I need it. 
though. that are open I've been in that room. Okay. Ah, there we go. There's still one more I haven't went into yet. So I guess this is probably the last one I need. Seal the door. Let's go. I'm always blowing up my Discord. I can hear my ears. Alright. Sayonara, boys. I'm out in 5,000. Ready to begin my adventure? Let's go! Hey, listen. I know this is your first time outside the village, so if you get lost, you can use the world map. Press minus to bring up the world map. Oh. Wait. That's a secret? What am I... Alright, you know what? We'll go back to and find secrets later. Alright, well, you know, I think this is probably... Yeah, I think this is a good place to end the first episode. Um, and we'll continue on with the next episode immediately after this one. So, uh, I'd just like to thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm going to be putting these episodes kind of sparingly in between Legend of Zelda stuff. Because um, I still want to get back into playing it. I haven't played it in a couple of weeks. Um, been doing some other stuff. But uh, i just like to thank you guys. And uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.